Yo, 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 what's up, family? Before we start the video, please give a like, subscribe, and share any and everyone that you can. Just read out there a little bit more. With that being said, let's get right into the video. Namiya's Kata put in another good performance against the Warriors last night, and people are starting to notice. Kata did a lot of good things in this game, so let's get right into the film. All right, how y'all doing? I hope y'all doing good. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, make sure to take your shoes off before you come to the house. And you already know, my boy Namiya's Kata, proud of Portugal. You know what I'm saying? 14 points, 8 rebounds, 2 blocks in this game for Kata, and... He did so many good things, man. And one of those things he did was, of course, on the defense side of the ball, on the perimeter, and on the interior. Here, don't know what Draymond was trying to do, but Kata contested it and forced a miss. All right, so this was a big area of improvement for me as far as Kata was these close shots that's not directly at the rim. So I believe last year he shot 27% on these shots. He's already been so much better at these shots this year, and he shoots this hook shot pretty frequently. So if he's able to get that down with some consistency, I think he'll be even more effective. But this is what you like right here. The activity, the running floor. <laughs> Yo, listen, one thing he going to do regardless, bro, he going to have the activity, he going to have the motor, and he going to run that damn floor, and he just palmed that snatched it and i already knew he could guard on the perimeter but this might have been like his greatest display of his career so far as far as it's like keeping up with guys and i know he got look at the look, hold on tell me about this. <laughs> look at his feet for a seven footer backpedaling turning turning his hips hey hey he is the pride of portugal that first sport it's definitely sock over there that seven foot look nah he not supposed to be moving that fluid though straight line turn hips all one motion backpedaling with Moses Moody bumping him whole like this is crazy and he was doing this all night and he got some switches on Steph Curry he held his own Curry hit a tough shot on him but the defense the way he stayed with the guys in this game was very encouraging again superb perimeter defense moving his feet as a seven footer I don't care that he made this shot I don't care you cannot ask your seven footer to play any better defense than this. Turns him multiple times, makes him spin, and he's still there on the spin. He got a little space, but like, I can't ask him to do more than that. And this is some of the close shot improvements I was talking about. Some of it is just him not fading away from the basket, going up strong. This is like a medium strong take, but he does have touch around the rim. So hopefully he can get those percentages up. All right, I feel like this is very important to note, right? Kata was a plus 13 in a six point loss. Of course, it was a team high. He was first subbed out of the game in the 535 mark in the first quarter. Celtics had a 14 to five lead. He comes back in in the 703 mark in the second quarter. The Celtics are down four. He gets subbed out at the 637 mark in the fourth with the Celtics lead in 95-88. An immediate 8-2 run by the Warriors. He comes back in with his 97 to 96. Am I saying they need him? I feel like they damn sure did in this game. But here we got Kata improving on his defensive awareness. You got Buddy Hield here, who is one of the premier shooters to ever played this game. And Draymond, that is some screen. What? Yo, you can set a screen with your with your with your arm, bro. They running some actions for Hill, but you know, Kade and Pritchard are doing a phenomenal job. Just seeing that he's the threat here, and he's just trying to move all around, trying to get open. Kade also sails out to get the ball out of his hands and force Draymond to shoot that three instead of him. And it's kind of crazy that everything has came full circle. I believe my first film session on Kata was against the Warriors in Golden State last year. And the thing that I saw first was activity. This guy has a serious motor and has serious activity. The minimum, he's going to run the floor hard and he's going to work his ass off. So here we got Kata setting a screen for Derek White. That's one screen, getting him free. Screen for Payne Pritchard, gets Lenny Waters off him. Then they go right into the stagger action for Drew Hade. Sets that screen. He comes down, he rolls in a great pass there. And then you know what he do right there, catching up. Now he gets blocked on the backside. He did not see that person coming, right? But again, he's going to keep working. The activity it might not look the best. Again, shots not at the rim in the paint. He got to improve on that. What is that shot? I don't know. But at the very least, you cannot, you cannot, as a coach, if a guy's giving you 100% effort, you got to live with it. Now, of course, if he makes five mistakes in a row, that's something else. But Kata constantly works, and if he limits the mistakes, man, this is going to be a really good player. And it's so crazy how quick he's becoming a fan favorite. You can just tell in the building when Kata's in the game because all the, everybody, they react to what he does. If he blocks a shot, if he gets a dunk, the crowd goes crazy. He's a huge momentum shifter, and he does stuff like this. 
And of course, his size and length helps him on the defensive side of the ball. He had two blocks in his game, but of course, we've seen him deter some shots. Him and Sam do a nice job crowding the passing lanes for uh, uh, Gary Payton. So Kata goes up first, but then Kevon Looney is cutting. I don't know if he's seen Kevon, but as he jumps, he kind of like backs up and uses his arms well enough to deter uh, Gary Payton from passing his ball, and he travels. And just the awareness he's starting to grow on both sides of the ball just playing more basketball games coming into the last season he had only played 24 games he played a lot of games last season not a lot of time but just the experience and then being in the g league going to the g league finals that was a really big deal for Kata. just playing more basketball and he's getting more aware so here he's gonna set the screen right well it looks like he's gonna set the screen but then he he sees that nobody's on him they're not attached to him so what do you do you slip you got a good point guy like Derek white and mm, looney you might not want to get out of that big brother cater with the athleticism right over looney and y'all will hear this twice you will hear it in the video that's coming after this but man hey listen if you know me you know how much i love rob williams that's my favorite player of all time don't laugh i'm dead serious i would never in my life put that much pressure on a big man and say that he is like rob and that's not what i'm saying here again this might be verbatim <laughs> The things that I say in the next vid, bro. But when I tell you this play is a carbon copy of what he did to Steph Curry in the finals. Same player, same shot, same hand, same TD Garden, and that was amazing. And of course, the Celtics are all about spacing. They do a nice job of spacing their non-traditional spacing bigs. Of course, uh, Kada and Cornette both provide vertical spacing. But the Celtics also do a nice job of parking them in some mid-range areas. So if their guy is sagging off of them, they can get the pass and get right into a triple handoff and we can get a two-on-one situation for a couple of seconds but here you got the screen from drew holiday he's going to get in a short row in a vertical spacing by Kata. but that is the video if you enjoyed it please leave a like subscribe and share it in there once you can just read out there a little bit more i will see you guys in the next video this is nick peace